when I was governor. Dr. Kingsley Mogalu was in Geneva. I went, convinced him to come back to Nigeria, and convinced the president to appoint him. On our five member COG, only three, three are Christians, two are Muslims. We have 24 departmental directors in the central bank that I appointed. Only eight are Muslim. I never even thought of counting religion until I read that sermon. It was never a consideration. And these are the people who take these decisions. The director of financial policy and regulation who signed the guidelines and issued the guidelines and developed the guidelines, his name is Christian Chuku. The government of Japan is raising money through Islamic Sukuk. The government of the United States has raised money through Islamic Sukuk. At a time when the capital markets have dried up, the government of Malaysia two weeks ago issued a Sukuk trying to raise $2 billion. In six days, they had $9 billion because there's so much money in the Middle East going into those products. The ICRC in Nigeria is working with the central bank and the DMO to develop products. We want to advise the finance minister to go and tap into those markets in Asia and bring in four or five billion dollars to finance infrastructure in the country. So in terms of being a financial product that opens up the economy, good for financial inclusion, for diversifying funding base, that is a discussion we should be having. It's not about Islamization. The central bank is not a religious institution. It's a Nigerian institution. And you've seen Governor Charles Soludo was a Christian and a Catholic. But he did more to promote and establish guidelines for regulating Islamic banking than any governor before him. And all I'm doing is completing the work. Now, I think as leaders, we need, on the one hand, to be very sensitive to people, which means we need to explain as much as possible and clarify the position. And I will continue to explain. I will continue to clarify. But we cannot continue to apologize for doing our work. And we cannot continue with this conversation at that level. We've got to continue raising it to a higher level. Because we want to get to a point where Nigerians are now saying, is it good for Nigeria or bad for Nigeria? Forget the sentiment. So I thought I would explain this. The law is there from 1991. The process had been ongoing before I became governor. We have tried to put finishing touches to it. And for all we are concerned as central bank, we are simply carrying out our responsibility of making sure that people do not open up a bank and take people's deposits and then have those deposits go down the drain. We have to regulate and license and supervise the institution. I do hope that I have addressed many of the issues, including some that have been tangential to it. Um, I do hope because I have the highest, like I said, I went to a Catholic school. The reason I have not come out to reply to bishops or to reply to cans is because I have to continue respecting religious authorities. I have indicated to them privately I am willing to meet any of them. I have actually asked to be invited to the Catholic Bishops' Council in July. I'm willing to go to Cannes. I'm willing to go to any church. I'm willing to go to explain to anyone who wants to understand what we are doing and why we are doing. But I don't want this to be a religious conversation. I don't want it to be an emotional conversation. I want to be discussing about finance, about economics, about regulation, about financial inclusion, because I'm the governor of a central bank. I'm not on a pulpit. <laughs> <laughs>